I'm Mary Trahan and I have memories of being here as a student at Hull University and meeting Philip Larkin and remembering him when I was a child. Philip Larkin came to work as Chief Librarian at Hull University in 1955. In those days, the university was a much smaller place than it is now and nearly all the academic staff knew each other. My father taught German at the university. He was the warden of what was then called Camp Hall on the site of the lawns in Cottingham. He I later became warden of Ferent Hall, which is on the site of the lawns as it is today. When a new oh, member of the academic time. staff joined the university, it was usual for them to be invited oh, around for a meal to make them feel welcome. My mum soon invited Philip Larkin around to our home, along with one or two other members of staff. In 1955, I was only two, and I can't remember the first time Philip Larkin came, but since he was single, he was often asked round for a meal. My mum was a great cook, so I grew used to seeing this very tall chap around, wearing dark framed glasses and, and, and talking in a deep and gloomy voice. Toast or shelf. He didn't seem to smile a lot, which made me a bit afraid of him. Get when I was little, I used to crawl, and, don't and I can remember Philip Larkin arriving on his bike and I can remember his bicycle clipped around his ankles, which he never took off. I actually thought he was quite boring because he never talked to me. Some adults find talking to children difficult, I know, so maybe that was the case for him. We came to a Christmas ball once at Parents Hall, always a posh do, and he came on his bike. Mum had asked my auntie Denise to come too and tried unsuccessfully to bring them together. But part of the problem was that Philip Larkin couldn't dance. I remember asking my mum once if she would have asked Philip Larkin to be my godfather if they had known him when I was born because the friend they did ask was a hopeless godfather to me. Her answer was a little enigmatic. She said that he and my dad wouldn't have asked him because his phones worried her at times. Particularly, this be the verse. They fuck you up, your mum and dad. I was sorry because they I would have liked to have had a famous poet as my godfather.